Hey everyone, welcome back to a Momentum Monday Marketing video. My name is Mac Frederick. Today we're going to talk about how to request and remove a bad review from Google. So uh, there's a help article here from Google and we're going to walk through the review process and how to remove a bad review. Uh, let's say you get a really bad review like a one star and you want to remove it. Let's break that down in this video. It should take four to five minutes and if you have any questions let me know. If you haven't already yet, hit that like, share, subscribe button. Uh, make sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Every week we drop tips and knowledge on digital marketing hacks and tips and tricks. Uh, so make sure to hit that subscribe and let's get into the video. bunch of help articles here if you just search how to remove bad reviews on Google. Uh, Podium, Blue Corona, Signal Fire. Some of these are legit, but let's walk through it in detail. So I have a review that we just got here, which is actually a legitimate review. Um, typically, what you want to do is reply to the review. But if you actually want to get it removed completely, there's a couple different things you should do. This is a legitimate review, and I feel bad, and I want to work out a situation. So if you can work out a situation, do that. Um, if not, try to flag and get it removed. Let's see if there's another one star. We have a lot of five stars. Let's see if we can find another one star. So this is for my company. It's a cell phone and computer repair shop, phone repair Philly. Um, let's see if we can find a one star. So here's this one. Um, I'm actually just going to use the one that I haven't replied to since it's easy to get it removed if you haven't replied to it. So first thing you want to do within your Google My Business account, go to business.google.com, go to reviews, find the review here. And the first thing you want to do is flag it as inappropriate and say, uh, choose a reason why, you know, maybe it's a fake review or a spam. Maybe if it's not relevant or if it's a conflict of interest, profanity, bullying, harassment, personal information, personal information. Your reporting policy violation to Google, it may take up to three business days. So you want to submit this and then they'll keep you updated. But the next thing you want to do is go to other accounts or talk to your friends or family and have them find the review, share the review with them. And you want them to flag it as well. So let's go here, see if we can find this review. And what you want to do is go in here from your other accounts, like this is a different uh, Google account. I'm going to report this. Privacy. All right. There we go. Report the review. Let's jump over to another account. This is a different Google My Business account. Flag it from another account. Lowest rating. Flag it again. Make sure you're choosing the same reason every time. And let's do it another time. Try to flag it five times. And that way Google sees and they get notified multiple times about the same review saying that it's not legit. And they're more likely to look at it and remove it. Typically you'll know within one to two days. There you have it. So if you're looking on how to get reviews as well, check out another blog that I posted, uh, how to get five star reviews on Google for free. There's a link to it on our website. So if you just type this on Google or go to our website, we've got a great article here and showing you how to get five star reviews. So first thing I would do is check out that help article. Let me pull that back up. I'm not sure where I was. Pull up that help article from Google. So you can sign in, go to your business, flag it, go to other sign-ins with Google, different accounts, flag it, all for the same reason. Definitely check out this uh, article. It talks about this in detail. I'll put a link in the video. If you have any questions, you know, definitely drop them in the comments below. Follow us at Need Momentum. My name is Mac Frederick. Subscribe, hit that bell, turn on post notifications. That is how to flag and remove Google reviews. Give it two to three days. And I will see you next time for another video on digital marketing. Thanks and I hope you learned something. Peace.